Hi, in this video I'd like to show you the benefits of using a current mode choke on a tuned antenna in a built up area where there's lots of RF noise and how it can be of an advantage. My name is John, amateur radio call sign M7CPT. Welcome to Amateur Radio on the Air. Before I begin, let me just point out there's some buttons down below. Uh, don't forget to cl click the thumbs up and let everyone know that uh, it's a video worth watching. Also, if you've not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notified of when I do new uploads. Okay, let's start by taking a look at some of the common causes of interference on the radio and just why your static flow might be as high as it is. The first place you can look at is actually inside your own home. A lot of electrical devices, TVs, LED lights, do actually give off interference and if you switch them off individually you can see which ones, if any, are causing a problem and you can actually add uh, clip-on ferrites or toroid rings to the power cable to reduce interference from those items. In the kitchen you'll also find a number of devices that can uh, cause interference. Fridges, freezers, microwaves, even your kettle. Also, one thing that's renowned for causing interference is a boiler. Now, I did have a problem with my boiler and I actually used one of these. It's an uh, electromagnetic field detector has an alarm on it so if it gets too high you can actually set these off if you put them very close to a computer's processor and place one of these near the boiler but not too close and it actually set it off and contacted the people who supplied the boiler they actually came out couldn't find anything wrong with the boiler but replaced the items in the boiler that were most likely to be causing interference with brand new ones and since then I've had no problems with my boiler. After eliminating all the causes that could be interfering with my radio my static flow went from a plus nine down to a plus five so I had a look around the area to find what else could be causing it. There are a number of solar panels in the area. The people who use these, they're not using them to, for battery backup in case the grid goes down, they're just using them to feed the grid and save on their energy costs. There's also one light in a car park near me that uses solar power and is also an LED light. In addition to this, a number of street lights have been replaced with LED street lights. With all of this going on in the local area, in addition to the high number of houses uh, in my particular area, this has all contributed to an S5 noise level. Uh, as you can see on the video, uh, it's fairly constant and it doesn't appear to be that much I could do to reduce the interference at the sources. By now, some of you may be wondering how these electrical devices can be interfering with the HF, VHF and even UHF signals. How can these devices that work on si simple mains be interfering with your radio and causing the noise signal? The answer is quite simple. Even mains works on a frequency. In the UK, that's 50 hertz. America and other places in the world, it may be 60. In addition to this, your computers are operating on frequencies of gigahertz. Your boilers are controlled by computers. Your fridges and freezers will have motors inside them that actually operate on the frequency. 
your microwave will operate up in the microwave bands as well as the 50 hertz of the mains. All of these add up to a lot of noise. You take into account all of that and everything else. Only a purely tuned antenna shouldn't need to be sorted to prevent these signals getting in. So how are they getting into my antenna? My antenna is fairly well tuned, it's a broadband antenna. Yes. My antenna receives from the 160 meter band all the way through to the 10 meter band. Now, how can I be getting interference from signals outside of that frequency range? The answer is simple, if not obvious. My coax is acting as part of the antenna and picking up these spurious emissions. So what I need to do is eliminate my coax from the antenna at the feed point. The method for doing this is quite simple. Uh, in ham radio we add a common mode choke. Now, I've already done a video on creating one. I'll place a link up in the corner for that one. I've got another video coming up for a different version of the common mode choke and there's also something known as a an air wound choke or dirty ballon or whatever you want to call it where you just coil some a few loops of wire at the antenna now as I said, I've already made a common mode choke when I was making the ballon for a dipole. So, what I've done, I've used one of those ballons on my antenna purely and simply as a common mode choke. Even though my antenna, as it's a broadband antenna, does actually already have a 16 to 1 ballon in place. The 16 to 1 does not eliminate the common mode. So I placed a common mode choke straight after that. And in some cases, a second choke is needed at the radio end and if further chokes are needed they can be added along the antenna feed line. So let's take a look at what my radio looks like after I've installed the common mode choke and see how well it's improved and whether or not it will need additional chokes. As you can see from this video, my signal noise has dropped down so it's barely registering as with an S1 meter reading. So in this case, I don't think I need an additional choke at the radio end. When transmitting, my signal strength remains the same and my signal reports actually come back slightly better because I'm not transmitting any of the common mode current. 
as always, I hope you've found the video informative. And in addition to that, there's some buttons below the video. Uh, don't forget to click the like. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and gets the video out to more people. Also, if you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified about updates as and when I do them. I'll place a full list of the items that I've used to make the balance and chokes in the description and all that leads me to say is catch you on the air.